thing to bear in mind when we're looking at the category of beginners is that beginners can be of any age. So really what we should do is to break this category down into a number of subcategories. Our first group we may call the absolute beginner. We could have what are called false beginners. Another category may be the adult beginners and therefore the category of young beginners. And our final one, beginners without the Roman alphabet. So just to quickly run over what these different types of beginners are, the absolute beginner, as the name implies, are those people with no language knowledge in that particular language. So they've never been taught it and they've probably had no exposure to it either. This is different to the false beginner. The false beginner is at the beginner level, but they've had some exposure to the language. This could be that they were taught it a long time ago and they've now forgotten it all, or perhaps they've had some exposure to the language through tourism or even TV and radio. The adult and young beginners, obviously those categories are fairly self-explanatory. The only difference comes between where we recognize the young beginner to finish and the adult beginner to start. Typically we're looking at an age somewhere between 16 and 18 for the separation of those categories. The final ones, the beginners without Roman alphabet, obviously the types of lessons that we're going to be doing at the start of that course is going to have to include very simple structures such as the actual alphabet itself. Within all of those categories there are some general rules that we need to keep in mind whichever type of beginner we are teaching. 